Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello, Lorena. Hello, Jonathan. How are you today? It's good, good to have you here, my dear. Yes, it's good to have I'm you here, my dear Lorena. I'm Don't sorry. Worry. The computer and my cell phone was dead, so I can't, I really, really can't stay in the class. I know we miss you, but I understand that. Okay, I'm very happy that now you were able to solve that problem. Okay, thank so, you. Uh, you can, if you can, uh, you can watch the video, right? Of course, it's going to, going to be useful if you would like to, in order that you can see what we did. Okay, so you don't worry. Okay, okay. so um, if you if you prefer, we are going to wait just one minute in order that more people join us. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry today. Excellent. Excellent, thank you. Hello, Carlita. It's good to have you here. I just was waiting for people to join us to class. So now that we have Lorena and you, we are going to start, okay? I'm very happy to have you here. Remember that this week we are going to finish our model. So uh, for today, we are going to advance in the 5.6 lesson objective that says by the end of this class, you will learn to sound nature when using negative contractions, okay? So uh, in this video, you can also uh, pronounce uh, correctly the negative contractions. So I encourage you to please, uh, I'm going to stop sharing and I will try to share again in order that you can listen because I'm very interested that you can share, that you can listen this. Okay, so let me just play it. Hi everyone. In this class, you learn to sound natural when expressing contractions. Let's get started by analyzing the contractions on this chart. Aren't, weren't, don't, can't. Two syllables. Isn't, wasn't, doesn't didn't they didn't eat dinner because they weren't hungry i don't like coffee and she doesn't like tea these aren't their swimsuits they can't swim he wasn't here yesterday and he isn't here today a quick tip to follow when expressing contractions is to extend the n for example I can't. They weren't. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to listen and repeat the contractions until you feel comfortable 
pronounce them. Okay, excellent. I like this part uh, and I like that you can listen the video because let me tell you that these contractions are not easy for Spanish speakers because for us it's not normal to have like an NT. It's like a double consonant at the end of the words. So that's why uh, the recommendation is to prolong or to make longer the end. Uh, can't. Uh, when you pronounce can't, for example, you need to feel like a strong in your stomach because if you don't feel it, maybe you're saying can. And this is one of the most confusing negatives because uh, sometimes people hear that you say, I can speak English. Okay, you can. No, 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 I'm saying I can't, can't speak English. Ah, okay, you cannot, you cannot, you can't. Okay, look, when I say can't, even my lips open, can't, and el, 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 el empty, you feel like more strong in your stomach muscle, okay? I will say this in Spanish, in order that this can be clear. Eh, de los negativos, el que más cuesta y causa confusión cuando lo escuchamos es el, el no puedo, ¿verdad? El can not. Cuando estamos hablando con British speakers, no hay ningún problema porque ellos dicen can not y se entiende perfecto. But when we are speaking with American or Canadian speakers, they say can't. Cuando estamos hablando con eh, personas eh, de inglés norteamericano o canadiense, ellos usan mucho las contracciones y ellos dicen can't. Pero eh, si nosotros no sabemos esticularlo bien, cuando nosotros no decimos podemos crear confusión entre can y can't. Les digo, cuando se hace el, el NT de la negación con el can't, parece que estoy sonriendo, ¿verdad? Can't. And you can feel it here. Y usted puede sentir como la fuerza de voz aquí, ¿verdad? En el músculo de su estómago. Entonces, cuando usted sienta eso, hágalo de manera consciente. Y cuando usted lo haga de manera consciente, poco a poco lo va repitiendo, va repitiendo hasta que le salga de forma natural. Eh, de igual manera ocurre con didn't. Didn't. Mm, mm, didn't. Igual, ¿verdad? Eh, se prueba con la fuerza de voz en el músculo del estómago y que se abre un poco los labios y se ve como que se estuviera sonriendo, ¿verdad? It didn't. Igual con, que, con el aren't. Aren't. Mm. Ese mm tiene que dar bien pronunciado al final. If you decide to use contractions. Si usted decide usar las contracciones, ¿verdad? If not, you can say are not, did not, cannot, and it's okay. Eh, si usted no se siente como muy seguro, puede hacerlo de la forma full. But if you want to sound more natural, as the individual says, you should, you should do the effort to say didn't, can't, isn't, aren't, okay? So that's that, uh, the part of the pronunciation. Now, regarding to the 5.8 lesson objective, it says that, um, let's see. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer WH questions and did, with did, and was, and where, okay? Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrate how this topic is used in real life settings. And again, in the platform, if you go to the platform, you will have this video uh, with WH questions with did, was, and where. So let me, uh, let's see if I'm sharing. And I will share again because I'm very interested that you can listen because this is regarding to pronunciation. Okay, so let's share the sound. Let's play it and then we will go to the material that I have for you tonight. Hi everyone. In this class you learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, 
What was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money, and I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh. Now let's analyze how to form questions with "did," "was," and "where." Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question: When do I use did? And when do I use was or where? You must remember the following: You will use was or where. Whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be, and you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So. Let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right-hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following: "Did you were a good student?" Mm -hmm. This is incorrect. Were you? To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula: WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word what. Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions. With did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart, but now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so what's what? That is what we're going to do tonight. But I wanted that you can uh, listen the video because it's very important that you don't confuse. The way to ask questions with the uh, with the WH words using did as auxiliary, and with the WH question using verb be. Okay, remember that the verb be stands alone, and you don't need to add any other verb 
or any other auxiliary, which is because verb B stands alone for all questions related to ser or estar, right? B. Okay, so uh, after we finish this class, you will be able to complete the 5.10 knowledge check that says unscramble the words to create questions. For example, grow, uh, grow up did, uh, grow up did, I mean, grow up you did where? So remember that the structure in here is the WH word first, where, then where, it sounds like the same because they are pronounced the same, where were you born, right? So WH word plus verb in past and then the complement, okay? So here, for example, uh, number two, in the year 2000, oh, where you, how? So we start with the WH, right? How, okay, let me do it in capitals, how plus how old, because remember that this is an only one expression to ask about age, how old? Where? where, uh huh. How old were you in the year 2000? Okay, or in the 2000 year, right? In the 2000 year, that's the right. Okay. Remember, if the question doesn't have doesn't have a question mark, you have to add it. Because if you don't add it, add it, it, it will give you like a, a mistake or an error in the platform. So how old were you in the 2000 year? Okay, in the question mark. And that's the way you need to continue asking the question. Remember that here you're going to type, right? So you need to be careful on the way you do it in order that the platform take all these answers as right. Okay, um, later for tomorrow, we are going to continue with the fine point 11. So I'm going to stop sharing this now. And I will go now to the, to the uh, presentation that I have for you, okay? As you, as you watched in the video, uh, we are going to work now with the WH questions with the was and where, okay? If you remember, we had a specific class to explain the past with did, and we had a specific class to explain the past with was and where, okay, which is the verb be. But now we are mixing them in order that you can get used to work with all of them in different uh, contexts and in real life settings. So the formula again, so let me just have my super duper spotlight. Okay, WH word plus D plus the subject, plus the verb, plus the complement. This is the formula when you're, when you're gonna use a, any verb, a, but it's not verb B. For example, when did you come to London, right? So in this case, the main verb is come, but it remains in the simple form or in the present form, right? Or the base form, because we are using the auxiliary did so my verb is in the present tense. When I have a verb B, I have the next formula, WH word plus was or where, depending on who is the subject of the sentence, right? Plus the subject plus the complement. Remember that in our last class, we said that we use was for singular subjects like I, he, she, it, and for plural subjects like you, we, and they, we use where. So the question is, what was your major in college, right? What was your major in college? WH word plus was plus um, subject, your major in this case, in the complement. Okay, so that's the formula. Okay. Yeah, please. I can I uh, ask in the first example, um, can I ask when were you came to London? It is correct. No, because it's a question. Yeah, it's when did, when, you can say 
for example, uh, when you can say when did you come only, but you cannot say when did you came. You can in, in every case you can say when did you not when did not, but using using verb be in past tense. Could you repeat that again, please? When when were you came? When no. were you came to London? No. no. As in the video says, that's why I played the video, because in the video it says that you cannot use uh, did and where. It's not possible. O sea, no podemos Ajá. juntar el did con el was o con el where. Solo podemos utilizar por eso, uno. O sea, por eso, si yo, yo puedo preguntar, when, where, como el verbo to be, when, where, you ah. came, pero poniendo el verbo en pasado. No. No. En, en todo caso, usted puede decir, when, when were you in London? ¿Cuándo estuviste en, en Londres? When were you in London? Y es correcto. Pero no puedo decir, eh, when, como usted me lo está planteando, when did you... Eh, no, when were you came? Porque pensaba el verbo en pasado. No, no, porque ya usted está utilizando where. ¿Sí? Solamente o sea, es when were you in London. ¿Cuándo estuviste en London? Mm, vale. No puede utilizar dos verbos porque si utiliza eh, came, entonces tiene where y tiene came. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Entonces uh -huh. tiene que elegir uno de los verbos. Si va a preguntar cuándo vino o cuándo estuvo. Y si es cuándo vino, es de la forma como está acá. Sí. Ajá. Vale. Ok, ya entendí. Sí. Thank you. Okay, sí. you're welcome. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay, excellent. So now let's let's see here. Veamos acá. Oops, sorry. Just let me move here. Okay. Remember that we have was for singular pronouns, I, he, she, it, and were for plural pronouns, we, you, and they. Okay. So with the verb be, the formula is wh word plus was or were, and then you continue. With any other verb, you use WH word plus did plus the verb in present, okay? In all cases, you have to add a question mark only at the end of the sentence because in English, we don't have opening question mark. We just have close, closer question mark, okay? So now, let's, let's look here. I can have yes, no questions also in past. For example, here. Was Irene in the house? In this case, the structure is was or were plus the subject plus the complement. Was Irene in the house? I just have two possible answers. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. Were they at the mall? In this case, I only have two possible answers. Yes, they were. No, they weren't. When I have information questions uh, that start with WH word, I just move the WH word at the beginning of the sentence plus was or where, depending on the subject and the subject. For example, here, why was Irene in the house? Okay, in this case, I'm not asking if she was in the house or not. In this case, I'm asking for a reason. Why was Irene in the house? And the answer is because she was sick. In this case, I need to provide more information, more than yes or no. I just need to give a reason. Where were you last night? Where were you last night? We were at the cinema, okay? We were at the cinema. If you see the structure is WH plus the past tense of B plus the complement. Okay, now is your turn. I want you to please take a picture of this and I would like that you can try to solve it. Vamos a tomar una imagen and then we are going to work together in order to see if we can properly ask, answer this question. For example, did you yesterday? You, so you have to choose between what, where or who. Which WH word fits better in that question? And the answer is, I went shopping. 
So, why do you, what do you think is the right answer? ¿Cuál creen ustedes que es la respuesta correcta? Where. Where, Where? right? Where did you go, yes? Uh, where, a ver. Where did, no. Porque tenemos un do. No tenemos uh, what, un go. What? Okay. Letter A. Ajá. What did you do yesterday? Si tuviéramos un go, sería correcto el where. Pero veamos que aquí tenemos un do. Entonces, what did you do yesterday? ¿Qué hiciste ayer? I went shopping. Fui de compras. I went shopping. And that's it. Y como esta es una affirmative sentence, then my main, main verb, aquí sí, mi verbo principal va en pasado. Y aquí sí utilizo el pasado de go. ¿Verdad? I went shopping. Ok, so, I'm going to invite you to go to the breakout rooms and analyze the other 12 questions and... Try to uh, choose the best WH word that better fits into the question and following the logic of the answer. Uh, do you have questions so far? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. Let's create the rooms and I'm inviting you now. Please join. you last year I was oh, working last year because I was 23 why okay what 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 all the were you last year uh-huh the year uh -huh. 23. Uh -huh. I was 23. Uh -huh. Three. De ahí en la 4 was that noise. Que es noise, ruido, ¿verdad? Yes. It was just yes, the one. noise and ruido. Gracias. Eh, quiero well. ver, was that noise. Sería, este, it was just the wine. Uh, 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 Let's see, uh, number four sería, what was that noise? Es como, ¿qué fue eso? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué fue ese ruido? It, ¿Qué was, fue ese... it was just the wind. Solo fue el viento, ¿verdad? Wind, wind. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay I'm going to leave in order that you can continue working, okay? Where okay. they, uh-huh. Usted lo va poniendo. Sí, sí, aquí lo estoy poniendo. Solo que lo llevo apuntado aparte. Pero sé que lo voy poniendo. Este. Sería el 9. Sería el 9, ajá. Eh, at, at the K. 8. What? Who ate? Who? Who? Who ate the cake? ¿Quién se comió el pastel? Who ate the cake. Stuart ate it. Stuart okay. ate it. Excellent. You're doing great. Do you have questions so far? Is everything okay? No. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to give you like two more minutes in order that you can finish, okay? Thank you. Okay. Excellent. See you in a minute. Um,
Hello, hello, my dears. Did you finish? Excellent. Okay, just wait for me a couple of seconds in order that the other group can join us and then we are going to start answering the exercises and completing before we go to our speaking practice. Okay, so let me see. Yes, here we have Aura and then Robert. Okay, uh, according to you, uh, which was the best answer for number two? Who voluntarily would like to answer? Okay, let's see. Um, and two, number yes. two. Yes, number two, please. Um, Seria, who? No. How? 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 How did you get? to San Francisco. Okay, and the answer? We traveled? We, we traveled, traveled by bus. By bus, okay, excellent. In that question, they are asking us the way, right? How did you get to San Francisco? We traveled by bus. Okay, so the answer is letter C. Okay, number three, Lorena. What do you think about number three? Letter C, how old were you last year? How old were you last year? Mm -hmm. I was 23. Okay, so the, the answer is letter C, right? Because we are asking about age. Excellent. Aura, uh, do you have number four? Number four. Uh, uh, it was just the one. Is the, what, what was that noise? Mm -hmm. it, was just, it was just the wind. The wind. The wind. The wind. The wind. Okay. okay. Excellent. Thank you. So the, the answer is letter A, right? What? What was that noise? It was just the wind. Okay, Roberto, number five. What do you think about number five? And where were they? They were at the library. Okay, excellent. Where were they? They were at the library. The answer is letter A. Okay, Carlita. Thank you, Roberto. Carlita, eh, number nine. Okay. If, wow. Who? Who? Uh -huh. Who? Who? Who at the cave? Who ate? Who ate the cave? The cave. She were eight, eight. Eight, eight, eight. okay. Stuart ate it. Eight. Okay. Eight. Excellent. So the let the best answer is letter B. Who? Because we are asking about a person, right? So who mm -hmm. ate the cake? Stuart mm -hmm. ate it. Okay. Uh, Lorena, number ten. Thank you, Carlita. Lorena, number ten. Ten. Who was that on the phone? Who? Letter B. And the answer is, it was Stephen. Okay, excellent. In that case, we are also asking about a person, right? Thank you, Lorena. Okay, let's see. Um, Roberto, letter, uh, number 11. Do you have it? Okay. Um, that's 11. Yes, yes, yes. Number okay. 11. Uh, who did she, she say? Okay. She said goodbye. Okay, thank you. In this case, is what? What did she say? Okay. Letter A. ¿Qué dijo ella? What did she say? What no, I say? couldn't hear. Uh -huh. No pude okay. escuchar lo que dijo. What did she say? ¿Qué dijo ella? She said goodbye. Dijo adiós, ¿verdad? Mm. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Uh -huh. Ahora, number 12. What do you think about number 12? When, when did they graduate? Mm -hmm. They graduated in uh, 2014. Okay, excellent. They graduated in 2014. Excellent. So letter, the best answer is letter B, when, because we are asking about a date. And the last one, let's see Carlita. 
And what time did you go to bed? Mm -hmm. And the answer? I went, I went to bed to at bed? 11 o'clock. Okay. To bed at 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So the best answer is what? Because we're asking what? about time. What time? Okay. What time what did time? you go to bed? I went to bed at 11 o'clock. Excellent, thank you very much. Let's see, we have uh, two, four, six more. So let us complete it together. Number six says, did you have lunch? We had lunch at noon. So what do you think they're asking? When, letter C. Okay. Letter C, right? Because they are asking about time and the answer is related to time. The answer says we had lunch at noon. Okay. Number seven, it says, was your teacher? Miss Jones was my teacher. So what do you think they're asking for? Who? Who, who yeah. was your teacher? Yes, we're asking about a person. And the answer says, Miss Jones was my teacher. Okay, number eight, it says, were you late? I missed the bus. Why? Yeah. Why, right? Why? Because they are asking for a reason. And, and I can say I missed the bus or I can say because I missed the bus and I'm giving an explanation about the situation. Okay, number 14. Did, she see, did he see a doctor? He hurt his hand. So why? Why, why right? Again, asking for a reason. Why did he see a doctor? Because or only he hurt his hand. Okay, number 15, were your bags? They were on the train. Where? Or where? Okay. Where were your bags? They were on where the train. Because we are asking about a place, okay? A, a place of the bag. Where are the bags? Okay, number, um, where were the bags? Uh, number 16, was the movie? Uh, it was how? Great. Oh. Okay. How? how? How was the movie? Okay, it says it was, it was great, great because we are asking about the manner, okay? So, now let's see, insert the correct WH question. And in here we have how, what, where, how long, what kind of, who, how many, when, and why. So I have here some, for example, uh, I visit my granny. So the first one is who did you visit? ¿A quién visitaste? Who did you visit? I visited my granny. Visité, ¿verdad? A la, a la abuelita, a la bisabuelita. Uh, how many, the, the next one. How many pictures did you take? We took a lot of photographs during our holiday. Remember that picture can be said also photograph, okay? So the next is, um, I stayed for a month. So maybe, or the most logic question is, how long did you stay, right? How long did you stay? I stayed for a month. Okay, now I would like to invite you to go to the breakout rooms and try to answer the last uh, questions from number four to number seven. Remember that you have to take the WH question from this uh, chart and then formulate the question using the formula. WH word plus did plus a uh, subject plus uh, the verb. And you have to take as reference the answer. You have to take as reference the answer. Tenemos que tomar de referencia la respuesta, ¿verdad? Okay, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas? No. Okay, let's try to do it. Tratemos de hacerlo. Okay, so let me invite you again. Okay, and there it is the invitation. So please.
I will say I come home by train. Uh -huh. How did you get? How did you get home? How did you come to home? Mm -hmm. Yo vine a casa en tren, dice. I came home by train. By, 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 by train, okay. Ajá, entonces sería how, ¿verdad? How, how did you come to home? Uh -huh. <coughs> how, how did you come home? Sin el tú. Okay. Excellent. Gracias, gracias, teacher. Que a mí me cuesta mucho formular las preguntas. Don't worry, that's a good exercise. If you see, <laughs> if you see we're coming from the most easiest part to the most difficult one, ¿ok? Ok, ok. <laughs> pasito a pasito, Ajá. ¿verdad? Los he traído de la parte más sencilla y ahora sí estamos produciendo en la parte más complicadita, pero sí. that's gonna be easy and I can help, ¿ok? Ok, thanks. Ok, sí, no okay. Teacher, here, so you have questions? We are confused in number five. Okay. Let the me. answer is, she went to the shop. I think that the correct question is, where was she went? But we have another option. Ya me hizo no con la cabeza. Okay. <laughs> okay. Y la otra opción es, why was she went? Pero es que estamos confundidas. Ok, eh, eso sería, eh, she went to the shop. Entonces aquí sí vamos a utilizar, como la respuesta dice went, the pass of go. Entonces aquí sí vamos a utilizar, where did she go? Where did she go? ¿A dónde fue ella? Where did she go? She went to the shop. Ella fue a la tienda, ok. Where, where did she, she go? She go. Okay. Entonces, where? si yo tengo... Oh. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Recuerden que went es el pasado de go, ¿verdad? Ajá, no, pero si tenemos where? los verbos con pasado, no puedo usar el was o el where en la no, pregunta. No, no. Ah. No, eh, recuerde que what, lo que vengo diciendo es que was and where stand alone. El verbo to be se mantiene ah. solo. No Eso necesita. estamos viendo ahorita, ¿verdad? Ajá. Porque no podemos decir was went o where went. Y, no. Porque había no. Eh, no, ajá, no pueden haber dos verbos en pasado. Entonces, cuando utilizamos was o where, no utilizamos did. ¿Verdad? Uh. Utilizamos did cuando es cualquier otro verbo que no sea was o where. En este caso, como estamos trabajando con el verbo went, entonces eh, yo sé que es el, el verbo go, ¿verdad? El, 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 el present. Entonces la pregunta la formulo. Where did she go? ¿Sí? Where did she go? WH where, el auxiliar did, ¿verdad? Y luego eh, la, el, el subject she and go. Uh -huh. O sea que si hubiera usado el verbo to be, hubiera dicho, where was she yesterday? Sí, así es. Where, mm -hmm. where uh, was she yesterday? Mm -hmm. Ok. Mm -hmm. O sea que la she otra was, la, Ahí hubiera she eh, sido correcto si dijera, she was, eh, she was in the shop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Ya, ya. Ok, excelente. Ok, okay. en un minuto. Le veo un minutito, ok. You're welcome. Excelente. Este, ah, pues la... Dos. No sé si Ay, es de aquí. Yo preguntaría sí. qué. No. What, what did you lose? Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> Tenemos aquí una disyuntiva. Ok. En okay. <laughs> uh, the, the uh, last uh, answer, uh, mm -hmm. for example, Aura say uh, what uh, What is your question, Aura? No, yo, yo, yo diría what, what, last, o oh, qué cosa, para decir qué cosa perdiste. Ok. Ah. Ah. Podríamos hacer dos tipos de preguntas, ¿verdad? Podríamos decir, what did you lose? El verbo what es lose, se escribe L-O-S-E, lose, el presente, okay. porque estoy utilizando sí. el did, ¿verdad? What did you lose? What ¿Qué perdiste? I lost my yeah. keys while I, while I was skating. ¿Sí? O también puedo preguntar, pero ya no sería en, en, en pasado, sino en presente, What eh, are you looking for? ¿Qué está buscando? ¿Verdad? Pero eso ya es presente. Entonces, uh -huh. o pudiera decir, what eh, were you looking for? Ok. ¿Qué está? estaba buscando? What were you looking for? Si sí, la de when no se puede usar ahí en esta. ¿Cuál, perdón? Por ejemplo, when did you lose the key? No, porque no me da una respuesta de tiempo. De Ajá. Sí, eh, si tuviera una respuesta de le, yeah, por oh, ejemplo, okay. por ejemplo, yesterday I lost my keys while I was skating, ahí sí. Pero en este caso solo sería, what did you lose? Lose. Ajá, lose. L-O-S-E. Lose, lose. Y okay. where? Es el presente, ¿verdad? Perder, porque tengo el did como auxiliar. Entonces mi verbo tiene que ir en presente en la pregunta. O puedo decir, what... Were you uh, looking for? ¿Qué estaba buscando, verdad? Pero esa ya es un poco okay. más complicada porque ya lleva okay. un... Uh, what were you looking for? Ya el looking for ya es un, un two-word verb y está hablando de un pasado progresivo, ¿verdad? Entonces mejor déjelo. Uh, what, what did you lose? ¿Qué perdiste? Did what you lose? Ajá. Uh -huh. I lost my keys while I was skating. Y tampoco cabe el where en in, in, in this no. case. No, no, porque um, el where es, es cero estado. O podría decir, what, en todo caso, la única manera es la que le digo. What um, were you looking for? ¿Qué estaba buscando? ¿Sí? Okay. Es, la, es la única manera para preguntar qué estaba buscando. What were you looking for? Entonces, eh, pero ahí no, se pierde un poco porque es como I lost my kids while I was skating. Entonces la que tiene más sentido es What did you lose? ¿Qué perdiste? Ok. Uh -huh. De acuerdo. Ok, pero, pero sí se puede. Solamente que la respuesta quede un poco forzadita, ¿verdad? Ok. So uh, you will have just one minute in order to conclude. Ok. I'll go back. Okay, teacher. Hello, welcome back, my dears. How was the practice? ¿Cómo estuvo la práctica? I see you working very hard. Okay. Hard. Yes. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, who would like to say how is number four question? 
is the key. I can come by train. Okay. Or maybe. Lydia. Oh, Aura. How? 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 Mm -hmm. um, how? <laughs> Este, en esta, en esa no sé si este está bien, pero pusimos, no, how, tra, eh, how travel to home. Ok, eh, I, faltó I, el I, I want to participate. Ok, adelante Lorena. Eh, we put, how did you get home? Ajá. How uh -huh. did it, okay, there, there are two ways. How did you, how did you, recuerden que la estructura era WH, eh, veamos acá, perdón. WH plus was or where o, o did, ¿verdad? Aquí está. Entonces, WH, how, luego did, luego... Did. Eh, Uh, you, ¿verdad? How did you get home? Or how do yes. or how did you come home? Era, ambas se pueden. How did you come home? Get y come. Recuerde que en este caso get es un sinónimo de come, ¿verdad? Sí, entonces podría haber sido how did you get home or how did you uh, come home? Y la respuesta, I came home by bus. Ok, Num thank you. Number five, ¿cómo les quedó? The question. Where did she go? Ok, where did she go? She went to the shop. Excellent, very good. Number six. How... Did how she how how did she meet who era who es who es who, Ajá, who. Es... <laughs> 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 sorry don't worry no don't worry a veces es bien difícil confundir how with who I understand. yo sé qué pasa a mí me ha pasado a veces don't worry Carlita okay entonces sería who did Uh -huh. She met. Ok, excellent. She met her friend. She met her friend. Ok, en number seven. What about number seven? Who did you lose your... How? What? Sí. Sería what? What, what, did, what, you... what did you lose? ¿Qué what perdiste? did you lose? What did you lose? ¿Qué perdiste? I lost my keys while I was skating. What? Ah, es que nosotros le hicimos diferente. We ¿Cómo make it different. How did you uh, elaborate it? How did you, how did you lose uh, your, your keys? Ah, ok. That's another possible way. Asking the manner. How did you lose your keys? ¿Cómo perdiste la llave? How uh -huh. did you lose? Entonces, en ambos casos el, el verbo va en presente. Lose, ¿verdad? How, lose. Did, you, how okay. did you lose your keys? Or... What did you lose? ¿Verdad? Ok. Ok, excelente. Ok, let's... Uh, we, uh, I'm sorry, but we won't have more time in order to do this practice. So for tomorrow, we are going to continue talking about what did you drink and eat for breakfast today? What did you watch TV on last weekend? So for tomorrow, please be prepared in order to have a, a short conversation about these questions. How old were you when you first rode a bike? What did you buy recently? Who did you see before class? Where did you go after school or work yesterday? Where did you go on your vacation? And what did you make for dinner yesterday? Okay, by now, let me just close uh, by saying that uh, the WH questions in past is always, uh, always we use who we are asking about people. For example, who was Pelé? So I have to give information about Pelé. And I say, he was a football player. What, when we use what, remember we are asking about things or actions. What did he do? Yeah, what uh -huh. did he do? Aquí es, estoy usando did como auxiliar, yeah. pero también do como verbo principal. Y como verbo principal, 
it goes in present because I have the auxiliary did here. What did yeah, he do? El, ¿Qué el, hizo? El. ¿Qué hizo él? What did he do? ¿Y qué hizo? Por ejemplo, uh -huh. what did the child do? ¿Qué hizo el niño? ¿verdad? Ah, she broke, uh, uh, I don't know, a, a glass, quebró un vaso or, or whatever. Uh, he played football in este caso, right? When? When we use when, we're asking about time. When did you go, when did you buy that car? In 1960, okay? When we use where, we're asking about a place. Where did you go yesterday? You can say to the park or I went to the park. Why? When we use why, we're asking for a reason. Why did you go home? Because I was ill. Ill is like sick, right? It's a synonym of sick. How many? When we use how many, we're asking about quantity. How many books did you read? I read five. Recuerde que el read es un verbo irregular que en el presente se lee read, pero en el pasado se lee read, como el color rojo, ¿verdad? Entonces, para, para decir que estoy usando pasado, tengo que pronunciarlo bien. I read five. Okay, so that's it. We are going to stop here tonight. And for tomorrow, please be ready in order to have our conversation about past situations in our life. Okay, do you have questions so far? No? No. Okay, my dear, thank you for coming. I'm very glad you were here and I hope to see you tomorrow. By now, be safe, good night, and good rest. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.